welcome back to my channel so today we have a bit of a different one for you um which is a bit of a theme for this year i'm gonna try and i will always do makeup i will always do makeup testing i will always do unboxings of hauls and beauty boxes and everything like that but i want to bring some different content to you as well so you've got a bit of a variety from me rather than just the same two or three things all the time so this is one of those times i was approached recently by a company um at joseco i think that's how you pronounce it and they asked me if i wanted a handbag in exchange for a review so i had a look at the website i had a look at the handbags available and they did look really really nice so i picked one out and said yes please i'll have this one and they sent it to me so we're gonna do a bit of a fun video rather than just me showing you this bag because that would just be a bit dull we are gonna um i'll show you what i've got in my handbag basically so this handbag that they sent to me which is gorgeous um i picked the color this comes in lots of different colors and they have lots of different designs as well they have lots of um backpacks that are in a leather style as well and lots of different handbags as well it does come with a long strap but I'm a bit rubbish and I don't like a long strap and I've took it off and it's downstairs somewhere so apologies I can't show you but it is just a standard leather or leatherette strap that would go across but I like to carry my handbag I like to either hold it like this or hold it like this so the long strap just makes me want to trip over it and stuff so I can't be doing with it so I've took it off anyway what I'll do I'll show you what I've got in my bag I've been using this bag now for maybe four or five days and I am a terrible person for putting stuff in my bag and leaving it there so this is another reason I picked this particular one because it was quite compact I mean to some people this is a big bag but you should see some of the, ba the bag I had last time uh, prior to this massive bag like this and it just got full because i never empty it i never take stuff out i just keep shoving more stuff in especially with the um you know the bag pricing whole situation do you want to pay 10p for a bag no i'll shove it in my handbag do you want to pay 10p for a bag no i'll shove it in my handbag then you're walking around with all this stuff in your handbag and you're thinking i hope no one thinks i'm pinching stuff i've got stuff in there from three weeks ago <laughs> so this has only been my handbag in use uh, when was it what day are we on monday probably since like saturday or sunday or no I, I used it on friday maybe like less than a week maybe like five days so it shouldn't be too disgusting but it can get that way at times i'll show you honestly what's inside and then once i've got everything out because i'm just going to put it all to one side I will show you the handbag because it's got so many pockets inside it's so handy i'm always losing my keys i'm always getting really stressed i panic when i can't find my keys when i leave work at night i have to check that i've got my keys first i have to stand on my desk stand at my desk find my keys hold them in my hand all the way to the car i can't go to the car and then look for my keys I don't know why it's just i've got to have them there in my hand so yeah i get very stressed when i can't find my keys and that always happens my old bag was big and it was just like a big bucket bag and there was only one pocket and things used to fall out of it and it didn't have a zip it was just not good so this one is actually amazing because of all the sort of you know ways you can organize it but i'll show you that once i've shown you what's in my handbag so first of all there's always a giant purse and I know this is a bag, technically, because it's got a handle, but I'll leave the handle on because it's easier to get out. And I could never ever use this as a handbag because this is my purse and I have so much rubbish in my handbag. Just to give you an example, I'm not going to show you any of my cards or anything because that's like a security thing, but just look at the change in my purse. I've got enough one piece and two peas in there it is so heavy and i need to start spending them but i'll just keep get, giving them a pound and getting a penny back forever so i need to start spending them but i do love this purse slash clutch bag 
it's a Steve Madden one that I got from TK Maxx and I think it's only about 10 or 15 pounds and these big purses slash bags usually cost a lot more because I was looking at ones in Debenhams that are a lot more and I know this is a bag but it's a purse to me so yeah that is my first item next we have drugs and these are out of date I've just double checked because I've had these in my bag for or my other bag for a while so these are, I'm reading it like it's a product aren't I I'm doing I'm doing a whole unboxing so these are by a company called <laughs> yeah basically what these are is these are drugs these are for migraine and inside there's only actually one left they come in a three pack you get three in this little packet the reason it's in a plastic thing which is not really very good for the environment is because they can't get wet it is a melt on the mouth um drug and it is a tryptan so basically what it does is it it stops a migraine dead as soon as you get one i suffer horrendously with migraines touch wood I've been much better this last sort of couple of months. I did have a migraine, was it last night or the night before? First time it's ever happened to me, other than maybe about 10 years ago. I got all the aura, I got the spinning, I got the feeling sick. I occupied myself with something else and the next minute I was thinking, oh, no headache and it just went but normally I have a splitting headache that just will not shift for like hours unless I take a tripton and some painkillers so these live with me in my bag just in case um I have a migraine because literally I can't if I have a migraine I can't do anything for half an hour because I get the kaleidoscope I feel sick I couldn't drive if I had a migraine because obviously I can't see where I'm going um so yeah they live with me then do you know what it's only been a few days i've already got junk in here <laughs> let's just move around the junk we'll come back to the junk later so then we have this product so this is the mercy handy hand cream i just finished this today at work actually and i've squeezed every last drop out of it so that's why it's in my handbag to bring home to put in my empties at home otherwise if i didn't do empties videos it would have just gone in the bin at work but because i do empties videos i carry rubbish around in my handbag now so that really doesn't help me um not carry rubbish around um so now we have the next hand cream because i popped this one in because the other was running low and this is the Aveda Hand Relief and I've been using this for a while actually but I found this one half empty and then yeah I'm not very good at using up stuff but at least I've used that one up so yeah this one I really love it smells like a bit like oh got it on my nose citrusy and I just love like a lemony smelling hand cream it's really thick and soft and i love this and people at work keep taking the mickey out of me because of the, what it says on it which is hand relief and then it got passed around the office one day a couple of weeks ago so that was good not embarrassing at all but it is really really good um but i think the full size one is quite expensive i think it might be 18 pounds i might be wrong there but i don't think i'd pay that but I'd like to get one in another beauty box. Next, we have one of my favourite um, lip balms. So, this is a W7 Egg lip balm, and I absolutely adore these. They smell really nice. They smell like, well, this one's strawberry, but you can get cherry as well. And they are super, super soft. And I don't know whether it will show up on camera. I just put a bit on my hand. I don't know whether it will show. They are just, it's not got a shimmer, but I just thought you might be able to see the, like, shininess. It's really sort of almost thick. It's, in my opinion, better than um, EOS. I prefer them. And you can quite often get these in Poundland. They're usually in the little silver foil bags. And if you can't get one in Poundland, you can usually get them in sort of cheap makeup stores you know like the likes of body care i'm not sure if body care does it but that type of shop i've seen them for like two pound in that type of shop and yeah 
they are my favourite. I've got about six of them waiting, like sealed, waiting to go. Um, because the first time I came in Poundland, I tried one, loved it, went back to get some more and they'd gone. So next time I saw them, I, I bought like six and thought, you know, they'll last me a while. Next we have, yeah, it's basically like an unboxing of my handbag because it is all beauty products. Next we have another lip balm and I love this one too. So this is a Maybelline one, again, it was from the pound shop so it cost me a pound. And this is the Baby Balm and Blush. I never use it as a blush, I only ever use it as a lip balm. And this is nearly done. If you can see, it used to be like this. Um, so I will get a bit more out of it, but I've got backups of these as well. Again from the pound shop, and I imagine these, I'm, I don't know because I've never bought one full price, but I imagine these would be like anywhere between like four and six pound maybe. Um, and yeah, it's only a pound and it's a beautiful colour. I would show you on my lips, but I've got lips to come. It just gives you a lovely sort of sheen. You see that there? It gives you a lovely shine and just a little bit of colour and it's got a little bit of shimmer in it as well, a little bit of sparkle. And um, this one is in the shade Shimmering Bronze, so that'll be why it's got sparkle <laughs> and shimmer. But they do do other um, colours. I've got one, I think it's like a peachy one, but I've not tried that one yet because I'm still on this first one. I don't use this one all the time because it is coloured. I use my W7 one the most. Right, next, we have a pair of Bluetooth earphones, so I broke slash lost slash probably broke then lost my headphones for my phone and I have a, I can never say the word, is it Huawei, 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 whatever the H phone is, and the, they don't have a standard port for headphones, they don't have that, um, sticky out prongy bit. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's not a traditional headphone port. It's actually like a charger port. So it's the um, USB-C um, port that you put your headphones in. So it's a really specific headphones. You can't buy them anywhere cheap. You can't buy them in like the pound shop and stuff. And I saw these. These are actually Philips ones. I saw these in B&M for like a fiver on offer. So I was like, yeah, I'm having them because if I have to replace them with like the proper versions, it'd probably be like 20 quid or something. So yeah, I don't know why we're getting a really long-winded story about everything in my handbag. So we have a pen and I love, these are my favourite pens as well. So this is a zebra pen. Zebra pens are, I love them. Every time I'm in Poundland, I pick up a pack. This one is kind of like um a night sky or like a spacey type one it writes in black um but i've got loads of different designs i've got pink marble i've got all different ones in the like black versions and then i've got ones that write pink purple uh, teal and yeah i just have the but i lose them so i buy them all the time because i lose them and then I just get another one out. So somewhere in my house is about 100 pens that are lost. So one day I will find them all. And I'll have to get a big tub to put them in. Next. <laughs> it's like, do you need three lip balms in your bag that you just changed four days ago? So you knew you were putting three in. Yes, I do. So <laughs> this is actually a really good one. This is Dr. Pawpaw. And this is like a two-in-one. I picked this up after it was recommended to me on a YouTube video and it was Louise Horn. I think she did it in one of her two minute Tuesdays. If you've never watched her channel, every Tuesday she does a short video about skincare. So she calls it a two minute Tuesday. I think sometimes it might be five minutes but it is very, very short in comparison to a normal video. And she said it was amazing, I've tried it and it is. So one side, which is this side is a sugar scrub and it is really good for when you've got dry chat lips and then the other side is like a balm so that is like almost like a vaseline but it is a purple balm and as you can see i've made a big dent in that i'm probably never going to pan these things because i'm using three different lip balms at the same time but hey ho at least i'm looking after my lips so that's those 
What else have we got in here? A hand gel. I love Hearts hand gel. I'm not keen on this scent if I'm honest with you, but it's always good to have a hand gel um, to hand. A hand gel to hand. I like having one just in case like you eat out or anything like that. I don't know where that went. You know, if you're like walking around shopping and you grab a sandwich and you're not sort of going anywhere to use the bathroom or anything, you can sort of... Ooh, I've just actu actually like dropped it and I've got a bit of a cut and it's gone in it. So anyway, um, it's just good for that so that you can clean your hands before you have a sandwich if you're out and about, especially for like picnics and stuff. Not that I've ever been on a picnic, like ever, but I like to think I would go on one. <laughs> So then we have my car keys. They are just car keys. Nothing that exciting about them. The one thing that is exciting that I need to get new batteries for is this. So this is attached to my car key and what it is, is a white plastic key uh, with batteries inside. And when it was working, but it's not working now, if you shake it, it flashed. And I used to panic as I used to, as I said, that I couldn't find my keys in my bag. You shake your bag, it flashes, you can find your keys. So that was amazing until it died and then I never put new batteries in it. So I need to get some new batteries for that. And we're still going. This small bag has still got more stuff in it. And I better pick them up after them car keys or I'll never see them ever again. Next, what have we got next? I don't know where to go next. I've got all these different pockets. Oh, house keys. I don't lose them either. Is there anything in this pocket? Oh, there is more drugs. So we've got my weapon of choice for a migraine, which is, I never say this word right, so apologies. Ibuprofen, 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 and codeine. So I only use these in absolute emergencies. I will try um, using stuff that's less strong first but if i'm desperate those are in there at all times just in case they're not prescription strength they're just over the counter ones um next we have my perfume from parfumado this one's still going because um i've been using like ones that are not handbag sized on the side um, but it's nearly done so I'll be sad when that's done because I haven't got another handbag sized perfume. I might have to subscribe to Parfumado. If you haven't um, heard of them, um, I will link a the video where I got this. They kindly gifted it to me in return for a video. And it is a perfume subscription where they send you these little vials once a month. So yeah, that's always handy to have in your bag if you want to freshen up. Then I've been shopping, so we have a, a product from Boots in here because I didn't want to pay for a bag. And these are the um, Ice Cream Soap and Glory Trio of Cream Eyeshadows, half price. So they were 14 and they were 7. Um, you'll probably see these again in a haul video because they shouldn't be in my handbag. We also have a Pixie product and this is the Liquid Fairy Lights Duo. Again, I will show you these properly in a haul video, but for now, they're coming out of my bags. They shouldn't be in there, but it was a case of I didn't want to pay for a bag, so they got shoved in. Um, what is this? See, how can I amass so much stuff in my bag in like four or five days? So we've got some notes for YouTube. Um, at some point, I was making notes about upcoming videos. <laughs> Um, oh, this is a returns note. I've got to send some stuff back to look fantastic. So we've got the returns note and we've got the shipping label. And they're just sat in my handbag because why? I have not posted them. I've not even wrapped them up ready to post. So I don't know why I've got them in my handbag. Um, I've got the boots receipt that goes with those products. I've got my work pass, but I'm not going to show you that because of security. Um, that's it. 
that is all that's in my bag so I'm going to show you my bag in more detail now just because obviously it has been kindly gifted to me and it is now empty so you can see inside because it was rammed so on the front we've just got just this is just a bit of detailing it doesn't do anything it's just pretty it's got some nice buckles on the back we've got an extra pocket and um, I've not got anything in there but that's an extra pocket that'd be great for your keys if you're always losing them like me so apologies for any continuity errors I my battery died and I had to go charge it but we were going to show you the inside of my bag now I've shown you what's inside my bag I'm going to show you the inside of my bag so it's got lots of pockets it's really useful I'll it's got obviously the one on the outside here which is nice and big you fit your phone or keys or anything like that in it then inside we've got two pockets that are like the traditional I don't know if you'll see it because they're black but it's the traditional sort of oh my hair stuck in the zip um it's the traditional mobile phone like pockets you know with no zip and it's just like a a pouch then you've got a big sort of open space it's just quite large then in the middle well it's not really in the middle sort of so you've got the big large space and then in the middle or sort of two-thirds along you've got this section which is like a straight down section that's the whole bag I don't really know how to describe it other than it's a giant pocket but it's in the middle it's like somebody's just gone like that and put a slice down the handbag and that is a pocket and that zips up as well and that's where I've got my medication at the moment then that because that's like a divider it divides the other half of the bag so you've got like a smaller section here um so you can put things separately in there and then you've got a zip at the back as well so that's like your traditional zip up pocket so you can put your keys in there I have my keys in there before and other bits and bobs I put the car keys in there so I don't lose them and yeah so it's got like loads and loads of pockets it's got the zip at the back it's got then got sort of an open space but a smaller open space then it's got the one in the middle which goes all the way down which is like a slice out the bag then you've got the other side which is a bit what bit bigger you've got your two um sort of like foam pockets and then you've got your pocket on the back so for quite a small bag that i i got a lot in it and plus i could find things because you know they were all organized as i say i had a huge bag before this one it was like a big primark like big buckety thing and i could never find anything in it everything has a place in this bag because it's so organized and um in my old bag as well i could never find my work pass i'd end up knocking on the door so somebody could let me in because otherwise i'd have my bag on the floor outside rooting for my pass so i i get let in and then start emptying things onto the desk so that i can show that i'm allowed in it's crazy so yeah this is much better <laughs> um as i say this has been gifted to me by a company called joseco they do have a website and I will link it down below. They've also been kind enough to give me a discount code oh, speak a discount code for my subscribers. It's not an affiliate link or anything. So I don't gain anything from any money from um, you purchasing anything, but you obviously gain the percentage and also uh, well I did gain a bag out of it, just obviously in the interest of honesty i did not buy this bag i'm not reviewing this bag because i purchased it i was gifted it but all my opinions are genuine it's so soft and lovely actually really soft it feels like really nice leather but i'm pretty sure it's plastic um but it'll all be on the website whether it's plastic or not um but yeah i hope you did enjoy this video and i hope um i hope you did enjoy finding out what was in my handbag it kind of ended up a bit like an unboxing because it was a lot of 
Uh, I just carry my keys, my purse, and then a lot of beauty products in my handbag, let's face it. Um, but, you know, at least it's not as bad as, like, having, like, loads of actual makeup in there. Um, I didn't have any eyeshadow palettes in there or anything like that. Oh, no, saying that, I, I kind of did, because I had... Um, these and these which are both like eyeshadows so yeah i kind of did have makeup in there but yeah um as i say thank you so much for watching i hope you did find this a little bit entertaining and as i say if you are interested in checking out these bags then go and check out the website in the link below see you again soon bye